Hello, Jess Dude Good here, and what is it about? It's about family. This is the Lego Fast and Furious Dodge Charger RT 1970 with 345 pieces, one minifigure, retailing for $20 in the United States. Let's take a look at Lego Vin Diesel. Lego Dominic Toretto. Yeah, even though this isn't the first Dominic Toretto Dodge Charger Lego set with the Technic set coming a couple years ago, this is our first Lego Dominic Toretto minifigure from the Fast and Furious film series. I love getting movie characters in Lego form from new franchises, and I always wanted a human version of Vin Diesel. Of course, we've gotten Groot who he voices, but Vin Diesel has a very iconic look. And unfortunately, I don't think they did a great job capturing this iconic look on his face print, where of course, many figures don't have noses, and Vin Diesel's nose is kind of an iconic part of his look. And I think they maybe needed a little bit more spacing with the mouth there to make it have the illusion of a nose or something to give it more of a Vin look. But still, I think this does decent for Mr. Mark Sinclair. The design of the torso print and the face print is new and exclusive to the set. So even if you don't like the look of those, at least you're getting some exclusive prints. And it's great to get more face prints on this flesh tone in particular. And yeah, some back torso printing is found as well. And a wrench is actually a pretty good inclusion for Don Toretto. And here is the build of the 1970 Dodge Charger RT, which is actually a vehicle that we got in a 2018 LEGO Speed Champion set for $30. And that included a whole separate car as well. And of course, since that Speed Champion set came out in 2018, that was in the older scale. So this is in that new fleshed out scale. This design is more tied to the Fast and Furious without those red lines this time around. And it just kind of makes for a little bit of a redundant release if you don't care about the movies. But I'm somebody who only cares about the movie aspect of this set, or at least more so than the car aspect, because I, I stopped collecting Speed Champions. But I love this new initiative of movie cars for Speed Champions because I'm a huge fan of movies. So to get this design in minifigure form as just a separate $20 set does give a new twist with the Fast and Furious branding, of course, with the minifigure this time around. But if you really only care about the build, well, compared to that 2018 version, there's not too much of a difference. We have that supercharger at the front, which is a really nice design. I like how they use a hinge design to get that aligned at the front with some nice Technic pin combinations. But unlike that 2018 version, there's no replacement bricks once you remove that. So you can't have a version of this Dodge Charger with just the hood with no supercharger. So it's like a feature is missing. At the front, we have a sticker on a 1x3. And that's something that this has over the freaking Aston Martin LEGO Speed Champions release. This Aston Martin has way too many stickers to a detriment where these stickers don't match the colors of the design of the Aston Martin itself. Well, if you look at the Dodge Charger, the side doors are not stickers this time around, but an actual physical detail. That works so much better than the stickers on the Aston Martin, and I really like that. There's just a limited amount of stickers with that one by three at the front. This license plate at the back. These two clear detailings at these side windows, and then the design of this really annoying sticker on the back hood corner, which is just so annoying because it's this pizza slice shaping. You got to put it in the corner of this Junior's ramp design. Maybe if it was like a rectangular big one, like that would work. But then there would just be so much wasted transparent area. This should have just been a printed ramp. They print these ramps for Juniors all the time. And honestly, these side ones are quite annoying too, where they're transparent. And if you misalign them once, well, you're crap out of luck. And this brings me to my least favorite part of the build, which is this roof part right here. It doesn't rest on any studs, but rather just the corners of these pieces. So it just feels a little bit loose in its design. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of it dipping, but it's not too big of a deal if I had to say. And you can easily remove it. Inside, I really like how they did this back area right here with just the right alignment of all these poles, which looks really good when you have the roof at the top there. And then inside, we have some more details for just the interior controls. We like that uh, red design in the middle and the use of this one by one piece with the handle and of course the steering wheel at the front. 
I like the back seat design for the driver's seat with that round top, flat bottom uh, tile piece, and then the slope two by two. Sliding Dom Toretto in the driver's seat is much easier when you remove the easy to remove front windshield and you just kind of fit him in there. And then you put the windshield back as well as the roof. And you can see him pretty snug in there. That looks quite cool. From the front, that's pretty darn cool too. And it's all about family. And again, really like that this is a physical piece instead of a sticker detail. There's not too much else to cover, but there are some nice printed pieces with these uh, little dish pieces in the wheels. And also there's this uh, one by one red tile with a black line at the top and bottom and one by two prints with a black line at the top. Those are two separate printed pieces. I really like that inclusion, especially when you get one of the one by ones as an extra. And for the underside of the set, I really love how the back hood area is built using some mini ball joints, which is very impressive. And then at the hood, I don't like that this has no room at the back and it's just kind of built like that with a solid interior, but whatever. But anyways, that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. And for the box, we have that $20 Speed Champs design at the back, a shot from one of the movies. <laughs> the instructions are incredibly boring with that new design at the back, Speed Champs ads for these new sets. So overall, this is a great companion to that Aston Martin 007 LEGO Speed Champion set. This is a great $20 build with a substantial amount of pieces, a substantial full-size build that doesn't feel like they're cutting a corner. And for DC, I remember they released like a Batmobile of this size for the 60s show, and that was like a $35 set. So to get this at $20 when all these LEGO prices are increasing is very gracious. This inclusion of the LEGO Vin Diesel <laughs> minifigure is a little off the face print looks not like him too much but uh, i do like that it's a new face print i do like that it's a new torso print i like the little amount of stickers in this set though there are some frustrating transparent stickers in this set the roof isn't a fantastic design but works for what it is i do wish there was more customization with this hood design like the other version of that dodge charger 1970 rt from 2018 I'm a movie guy, and I like that they're bringing these movie vehicles to Speed Champions. I'd rate this set an 8 out of 10. Let me know which movies you want to see as vehicles in LEGO Speed Champions. Subscribe for more LEGO reviews and LEGO news, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.